YouTube, what's up? Welcome back to the Leprechaun Life channel. And today we're gonna to be looking at how to add an emulated keyboard to your live streams so your viewers can better follow along with your key clicks. Right now I see this quite a bit with PS4 controllers, Xbox controllers, and I always thought it would be cool to do with a keyboard because there's kind of infinite different mappings to movement keys, ability keys, things like that, that you can't really get in a controller. So I feel like that adds a really awesome extra element of learning to your streams potentially. And I've always really just kind of wanted to do it. So we put in some time and it turns out it's really easy and straightforward to do. So if you're interested in seeing a keyboard like this or even a full keyboard that's all out that is going to be keeping track of what keystrokes you're making, uh, just follow along this video and we'll have it up in no time. I'll tell you right now, this works in Streamlabs OBS and OBS Studio and has a very similar way of adding. So this should be an all-in-one guide. Let's, uh, let's get started. To get started adding this keyboard to your live stream, you're going to want to go to github.com and find the no board repository. I'll have a link in the description below that'll take you directly to this site and the correct repository for an easy find. Right at the top, no matter when you're viewing, should be the latest release of this program. If you scroll through, you can see different bugs, features, layouts that they've updated, as well as the assets is where the actual files that you'll be downloading will be. If you continue to scroll, you can see all the different versions of this program that have been released. But we'll want the most recently updated one, and it'll be the NoBoard Rewrite version 1.0 1.3.0.zip at the time of recording. This is the only file you're gonna need of the three that are here. If you wanna look at the source code to see how this is actually set up, you can do that and download that file, but we will only need the top one for this video. So we'll download, and it will be in a zip file, so you will need to extract that. It's easy to do if you have WinRAR, which I feel like most people probably do at this point. So we can go here, you can see I have downloaded this before. You can right click, extract, pretty quick. It's only like a one megabyte file. And then you have a nice easy folder to access it in. You can click in and you'll see right here you have no board with the little NB emblem. You'll wanna click on that. And then it'll bring up this blue blank window, which is expected. You'll wanna right click on this, hit load keyboard. You can drag this down. And in the category, they don't exactly have great naming schemes for keyboards. For example, Burning Fish is a standard full-sized keyboard. So you may have to go through to find the keyboard that works best for you. For my example, I'll be using only the left part of my keyboard because I'm only gaming with the standard WASD keys. So we'll be here, as well as once you find the keyboard layout you like, there are different stylings available on the right side of the load keyboard screen. We can go down and the white outlined black looks pretty good. The black outlined white looks pretty good. I feel like that's pretty just like standard color coloring for most people's streams or it will be compatible with most people's streams. We'll stick with the black with white outlines at this point. You'll hit close. As you can see, it's keeping up with all the different key clicks that I'm making. You may notice when I'm hitting shift, it is actually capitalizing the letters and going to the symbols for my numbers. I know for my stream personally, I don't want that to happen because it'll be just super confusing and hard to look at. So you can right click and there's additional settings for this program. There's different input speeds, general window titles, trapping, I'm honestly not 100% sure what that does, but on the bottom left, you'll see the capitaliz capitalization of keys. You can hit show all buttons capitalized and then hit okay. From there, all your keys will be capitalized, and that way, when you're hitting shift, it's not constantly fluctuating between the regular, or the lowercase and uppercase versions of a key, and their symbols. That'll work best for my stream purposes, so that's what I'm going to be using. From there, you're ready to add it to your OBS Studio or Streamlabs OBS. You'll want to go to whatever you're using. I'll use my OBS Studio. You can see here I have my stream overlay that I use and at the very bottom you'll find sources. You'll want to go down to the plus sign like you would with any other element you're adding to your stream and find window capture. It should be the one at the very bottom. We can name it whatever. We'll put keyboard, hit OK. 
and mine automatically grabbed it because I've done this before, but if you go in and click window, it should show you all the different windows you have. It'll just be the noboard.exe window. You'll hit okay. And now you have this emulated keyboard that is still picking up your key clicks on your screen. Obviously it has this kind of nasty green background on it, but we know how to get rid of that as well. In OBS or Streamlabs, you're gonna wanna right click on the element on your stream, go down to filters, add a filter, and it's called chroma key. You'll add chroma key, just leave it named whatever, hit okay, and it's going to automatically just make your background transparent. And you can see here it says green because that's what the background was, and if you wanted to adjust it to make it a different color, you could, but for my purposes, I like it transparent. We'll go ahead and hit close, and now we have a clear keyboard that is still picking up mouse movements and keys on stream. And that's how easy it is. I thought this was gonna be like significantly harder when I started doing it, and it's not. That's literally all it does. Uh, I'll tell you right now that you don't have to worry about having the no board open over your game. You do need to have it open in the background, but you don't need to have it like live up over your actual game that you're playing. Nobody wants that. If I was doing that, I wouldn't even bother with this. So it'll just be on your stream when you set it up like this. It doesn't need to be over your actual game that you're playing. And that's it. That's how you get this on your stream. It's pretty straightforward. If there are any questions, please feel free to drop them below in the comments. I'm happy to assist anybody setting this up for the first time. I know we did this in OBS Studio, but the OBS Streamlabs has the same basic sources and the same filters that you'll be adding. The process will be, diff will be the same, just in a different kind of style of window. Uh, if you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, turn on notification bells. We'll be doing a bunch of videos of just little things that I'll be trying out with my own personal stream to see how they work out and how to do that so you guys can then add it to yours. Uh, yeah, I guess I will see you guys for the next one. Have a great rest of your week.